for a probability distribution, by definition, the variance of some random variable x is equal to the sum from, let's say, all, all x values belonging to some, some set, some space of the random variable, and you find the difference from the mean, so x minus mu, let's, let's just call it mu, and you're going to square it, and you are going to multiply by probability of x. And you sometimes write this as p of x, or you sometimes use probability distribution functions such as f of x. Probability mass function, it depends on what your teacher call it, or what f of x is named after. And you may ask, is there another way of finding variance, and maybe another way that's easier to do? And it turns out the answer is yes. But before I show you the, show you the method and prove the method to you, I want to make sure we know how to use this formula. So let's say we have a population, and you have 0, 1, and 2 as your as the values your random variable can take. What is the variance of this? Well, our mean, our mean is 0 plus 1 plus 2 over 3, also known as 1, because 1 is at the center, or you can evaluate this expression. And this thing is equal to, you want to start with the value, subtract the mean, square it, multiply by the probability, and let's assume all of these numbers are equal, equally likely to occur, so times 1 third, plus 1 minus 1 squared times 1 third, plus 2 minus 1 squared times 1 third, and you get 1 third plus 0 plus 1 third, also known as 2 thirds. So that's how you calculate the variance. You calculate the mean, you find the difference of each value and square it, multiply by the corresponding probability. In this case, we assume that all of the probabilities were equal, so 1 third for each of the three outcomes, and you're going to add up the result, and that's going to get you the variance of x. But there is another way of doing it, and it's often called a shortcut. A shortcut method for calculating variance, and we are going to prove it. So let me rewrite the variance formula. So variance of x is equal to sum of all the x belonging to some space of x minus mu squared f of x. So we are going to do, we're going to write it as expected value of x minus mu squared because the reason I can write it like this, what is expected value? What is expected value of x? Well, expected value of x is sum of, let me just not write x belonging to s just for simplicity, it's sum of x x times the probability of x, so x times f of x, this was e of x, and for e of x squared, we have sum of x squared times f of x. So what's inside this parenthesis is the value you're going to take and multiply by the probability. So in our case, that value is x minus mu squared. So we are basically finding expected value of x minus mu squared. And let's try to expand this. So we want to find exp expected value of x squared minus 2 mu x plus mu squared. I'm just expanding this. And the, since expected value is summation, you can break this apart. Expected value of x squared minus, and since 2u is constant and, sum, and in summation, you can get the constants out of the way. You can get 2 mu out times e of x plus expected value of mu squared, but mu squared is constant. So if mu squared is the only value you can take, the, the value that you expect, the expected value is going to be just the same constant mu squared. So you have this thing being equal to variance of x, and our expected value by definition is equal to the mean or mu. So you have e of x squared minus 2 mu squared plus mu squared, and this thing is e of x squared minus mu squared. So that's the shortcut method. Our variance of x, our variance of some random variable, some discrete random variable x, I should specify. The, this entire video is for discrete random variable, although you can do a similar things using continuous ones, such with integration instead of, instead of discrete summation. In, in our video, we are primarily concerned with discrete random variable. And this is the formula. Variance of x 
is e of x squared minus mu squared. And let's try to apply it in our case and see if we get the same thing. So e of x squared, the expected value of x squared, so and you want to subtract mu squared, the expected value of x squared, you're just going to square its value, so it's 0 squared, and multiply by the probability, so 1 third plus 1 squared times 1 third plus 2 squared times 1 third, and you want to subtract the mean squared, and our mean is 1, 1 squared is 1, and this thing gets you 0 plus 1 third plus 4 thirds minus 1, and uh, minus 1 is the same thing as minus 3 thirds, and if you evaluate this, you do get 2 thirds. So both of these methods get us the same thing. So let me rewrite variance of x. This is by definition, and you can also calculate it using expected value of x squared minus mu squared.